Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to install a WYSIWYG on your Drupal installation. And uh, as you may have noticed when you are editing your content, that there is no text editing tools in here. So sure, we have a text area, but let's say your content editor wants to add, you know, add a bold or create a list or add a link in their text, um, they might have to do it in HTML. And not all of your content editors are going to know HTML. And besides, I think most other content management systems even have a, a WYSIWYG built right in. I mean, I know WordPress does. So uh, if you want to add a WYSIWYG to the site, luckily it's fairly easy. We're just going to do so with a module. So if you go to drupal.org project and then the module is WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get, um, you can come here to this page and you can download this module. So what this module does is that it allows you to use a third-party WYSIWYG editor. And what's good about that is that it allows you to use any third-party WYSIWYG editor that it supports. So you're not just tied down to one particular one. Um, so actually, let's go to our site here and sites all modules. We're going to install this WYSIWYG. We'll drop it in here. Okay. We'll come back to our site, we'll go to modules, scroll all the way down till we get to WYSIWYG, we'll select this and we'll save it. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's go to our piece of content that we were just at, let's click edit. Okay, if you notice, no WYSIWYG. Well, it's not that easy. What we have to do next is we actually have to go grab a WYSIWYG from somewhere. So if you go back to your modules, scroll down and we go to configure that's next the little gear that's next to WYSIWYG here click that it's going to say installation instructions which WYSIWYG do you want to use and there are a whole bunch of different options I personally like CK editor it's the one right at the top here so I'm just going to click download and it's going to take me to CK editors page where you can click download see uh, there is the CK editor module for Drupal I personally, you know, you might want to use that. However, uh, there is some cost associated with it. It's not free. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the CK editor, um, the open source editor, because you can just add this using the WYSIWYG module. So this is the one that you want, the CK editor. Okay. So if we go back to our site, it's going to tell you exactly where to put these folders. Um, it's going to say extract and archive the copy in the following location, which is in sites all libraries. And then you'll put CK editor in there. So let's go to our finder. Okay, so they wanted to go to sites all. And then if you notice, there is no libraries folder. So this is where we're going to just create one. So you just make a folder and name it libraries. Okay, and now we're going to draw, let, well first, let's decompress this CK editor, and it's all looking good. We'll just drag and drop this right into libraries. Okay, so now let's refresh this page. Okay, awesome. So because it no longer says that we have um, need to install, this installation instructions has been minimized. Um, as you can see, CK editor is green. Of course, you can download and install others if you would like. So this is going to say our input formats, which editor they're going to use. Um, since filtered HTML is the first one, I'm just going to say filtered HTML, use the CK editor and click save. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. The next thing we need to do is edit this. So let's click edit. And what this is going to do is allow you to customize your CK editor. Uh, basic setup, we're just going to leave all these uh, checked here. Um, you can, of course, go through these and, and select which ones you want, but we want the users having the options to bold, italicize, underline, strike through, line left, line center, um, let's get, let them do a bullet list, undo, redo, I like to have them be able to look at this or paste in source, where is that, source, paste in, uh, look at the source, paste from word, okay, but you can go through these and select which ones you feel like your uh, content editors are going to need the most. Editor appearance, you can say, okay, I want it to be at the top, button alignment left. I mean, nothing really crazy here. 
um, apply source formatting if you wanted to do that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that unchecked. And okay, it looks like everything else is good. We'll save this. And now, if we edit our home, you'll notice we have our WYSIWYG editor here. We can type, this is bold. Select this, click bold, and it's bold. We'll save it out, and you can see that changed. Cool. Okay, so that's how to install a WYSIWYG on your site with CK Edit. If you want to check out other WYSIWYGs, always feel free to go to that module's uh, configuration and then check out which other ones you want. You can install and just see the benefits of using different ones. Like I said, I prefer CK Editor. You may not. So uh, that's how you install a WYSIWYG on your Drupal installation. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.